for as long as I can remember, the popular thing was to have blonde hair that was slightly curled with the straightened tips. Tell me you know what I'm talking about. So obviously, I always felt very out of place and this made me feel very, very distraught because I do not have straight blonde hair. I did go through an era at one point, but that was just bad. That was just, that was bad. But for as long as I can remember, I would always straighten my hair. I would brush it out, straighten it, do the curly hair. Even though I was brunette, I would try and at least have curled hair because I hated my natural hair. I hated my curly hair. And I got so many comments about that. And I still do to this day, which can be super hard because your natural hair, you can't exactly change that. It's always gonna show up and it's always gonna come back. So a few years ago, I don't know if you noticed this, but I started to show my curly hair a little bit more and I started to go more natural. And the reason for that was because a friend of mine who I looked up to so much, she was blonde, she was very beautiful, very energetic. She was iconic to me. She told me that she loved my natural hair and she said that I should do my natural hair more. So that small comment literally changed everything for me. Like it literally makes me want to start crying. It was such a huge moment for me. So of course, when I find out that some celebrities who have iconic hair as well, they are wearing their hair loud and proud and that they have their own hair care line, I of course had to buy the entire line. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Do you understand what we're doing today? It's gonna be iconic. You guys have been begging, so I'm here to provide you with my hair care routine using Blake Lively's new booming talk of the town hairline. Before I get started with her first product, let me kind of explain to you what's gonna happen. On this side, I'm gonna be using my normal, usual hair care routine. And on this side, I'm gonna be using all of Blake Lively's newest products. Starting off with the Rich Reset Pre-Shampoo Mask. So obviously I don't really use a shampoo mask. So we're not exactly starting with anything on this side. We're gonna start on this side. Now here's the thing. Blake Lively is kind of the talk of the town right now. She obviously has a new movie out, which is It Ends With Us. I went and saw it, loved it, but then all of a sudden, it became this massive ordeal and there has been so much drama about it. They go about They're it. Like asking for like my address or my phone number. I used to ride so hard for this couple. My phone number. It's not like looking my so good. Location. One of the things that has stood out the most Tony and his wife show up to the Ends With Us premiere. Congrats on your little bump. And I was honestly shocked as to why this was happening. A lot of people were, as you heard, the rumor was that she was trying to promote her hair care line, which that's actually kind of how I found her line was through all the drama, but I had never heard in any of her press tours her talk about it. So I was actually really shocked and really sad until I found this. Her PR team is pulling every trick in the book because at the same time that that's going on, guess who just dropped a hair care line? Remember the whole Hailey Bieber, Selena Gomez beef? Yeah, that was conveniently happening while both were dropping new beauty lines. And then, I mean, honestly, it makes sense. As you saw, so many other celebrities kind of do that. And then you end up with people like me who find the product lines through all the drama that's being put out there. So maybe there's hope for us all. I don't know. I need your opinion. You need to spam the comments right now with if you are team Blake Lively. If you think, no, Blake Lively is awesome. I think that this really is just a PR thing. Just to bring attention to her line and she is actually a good person or no, you think this is showing her true colors. Let me know with these two different comments because I don't know what team I am. Okay, so this thing is saying that I need to leave this in for 30 minutes, so we're gonna let this sit here. This is kind of interesting, but I don't know. I mean, I think having hair as beautiful as Blake Lively's could be kind of nice, so we'll see. Can I also just mention the fact that it was so hard to find these products. They were sold out literally everywhere. So that kind of makes me wonder if people really are actually hating on Blake Lively or if this is all part of her plan because her products were sold out within the day. And I had to go through so many of the different target locations around my state to find every single one of these products. It took me all day and then some. So I am so glad that I actually got all of the products because it was stressful, but I took one for the team. Love you guys. I'm already super shocked. I mean, obviously this side I haven't done anything, but this side is already feeling so soft. 
Like this is insane how soft my hair feels. My hair is very brittle and very dry, so it needs all the moisture it can get. So I'm excited to see how these next products work. You have to continue watching because her whole hair care line might actually leave my hair and this may need to end up becoming my new hair care routine. Now for step number two, we've obviously got shampoo. So on this side, I use this Juba shampoo. This is from Brazil. So I kinda, it's, it's almost out. I uh, obviously need to make a trip to Brazil back again, I guess. And then on this side, we have got Blake Brown's Fundamental Nourishing Shampoo. I'm obviously gonna go into the bathroom, I'm gonna do some shampooing, and I'll be right back. Wow, literally just wow. That's all I have to say about this. Don't mind that it's gonna be dripping all down my shirt, but this side feels so soft. Not to mention, it smells amazing. I've gotta say, when I was shampooing, usually it takes me multiple pumps on this side to get it actually like pooing. It's probably not how you say that, but you get what I mean, right? Yeah, anyways. And so I have to use a ton, so I go through that shampoo very quickly, whereas this side, I just used two pumps, and it was super lathering, very moisturizing, it was amazing. Now onto the next step, because I don't want my hair too dry, because uh, this is already complicating enough. On the Blake Brown side, we have got her Wild Nectar Santal Fundamental Nourishing Mask. I guess she says that she doesn't use conditioners around here. That's what the uh, shampoo bottle said. So we've got the mask on this side. Now I obviously use conditioner. So I've got this conditioner, which is also almost out. And then I have got a mask as well. I guess I could do two in one, um, which I do use quite frequently, which is another one that I got from Brazil. So. Here we go. <laughs> I'm back. Disclaimer, these reviews that I am giving you are 100% honest and brutal. I am not just giving reviews on the celebrity side because she's a celebrity and obviously we're assuming that they need to be great and amazing products. I'm going to be completely and utterly honest with you when I tell you that this is shocking me. My hair has never felt softer, smelt better. It is I am actually so amazed by this. However, you have to keep watching because I'm not sure if these next two products are going to make my hair just as luscious and as nice as this side because I do have a very different way of styling my hair. So we are now on to the next step, which is styling. And on the Blake Brown side, we have her All in Wonder Leave-In Potion. And on my usual side, I have the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Leave-In Treatment. So. Here we go. First of all, the smells are just amazing. Is this a spray? I wonder if maybe it's a spray, okay. Give it a second. Here we go. <gasps> wow, okay. Love this. So nice. I'm not exactly seeing where I'm, how's this spray out? Oh, okay, it's a little bit like on the thicker, more liquidy side. It's okay, we're gonna just put it all in. Cause again, like I said, I'm spraying. Oops, this stuff is so nice. I have come to find out that for me, I really need to make sure that I have a leave-in conditioner in to leave my hair even softer, or I'll use a cream instead of a gel. But since I've got more of a gel and Miss Blake Lively's product, we're going to be using a lot more of the leave-in conditioners. So now for this side, I have had a lot of different leave-in conditioners. I like this one. I think I want to invest in some other ones. I really like the, Le the I think it's like phase 10 or something 10. I'm not really sure. This one's good, but it's not exactly feeling as nice. My hair is already feeling kind of dry and kind of just not as soft as this side. That's for sure. I wish you could feel it. It feels like so amazing. So, so amazing, but just a couple more sprays. Getting some of those other areas. Again, like I said, I put an excessive amount, but it's fine. Okay, but can we just talk about Miss Blake Lively's new movie, It Ends With Us? I am not exactly a reader, but I heard such great things about It Ends With Us, so I was so excited. I went and saw the movie by myself. 
That's right, I literally went and saw the movie all by myself. There were so many girls and their girlfriends. They had all of their blankets. There were some girls and boyfriends. Definitely felt super alone there, but that's okay. And it was a great, great movie. I personally am obsessed with it. I love rom-coms, rom-coms are amazing. I could literally go on and on. But next product, we have got Blake Brown's Glam Mousse. I don't use mousse very often, but I know that it is more voluminizing, which I don't personally prefer, but we're gonna test it out. Who knows, maybe this will become another one of the products that I will have to have in my routine. And then on this side, obviously I use the Love Your Curls All-in-One Step number three. So, let's get started. I love this product because it isn't gel and it isn't cream. I feel like it's a mixture of both, which is super, super great for my hair. I really need that because it moisturizes and it locks it all in, giving that kind of a gel feeling to it. So I personally love it. But yes, as I was saying, I love rom-coms. And as someone who is currently single, I even love them even more. Although I feel like I feel so much more lonely after I watch them. I'm like, I am depressed because I want a boyfriend. But it's okay because that will come in time and I don't need that right now. I am good hanging out with you guys. So let me know if you're like that because I'm definitely like that. After watching that movie, I was like, dang, I should have come and watched this with, you know, my imaginary boyfriend that doesn't exist. That would be nice. Okay, got that side done. It's a little more complicating than obviously just doing it in the shower, but sacrificing. I'm doing it for you. Now for the mousse side, actually, how do I? Okay, so there's a shake it. Whoa, that's so amazing. It's like whipped cream. <gasps> Beautiful, I love it. I don't think I needed that much, but that's okay. This is work evenly through all the hairs. Oh, smells so good. Okay, what kind of a thing do you personally like to do on the weekends? What do you love to do? Do you love to hang out with your girlfriends? Do you love to stay in? Let me know. Because I personally love, I have most recently been loving kind of just staying at home by myself. I've become more introverted actually. But I usually, I used to love like going out and hanging out with my friends, like a huge group of people. I love getting a group together, especially when I was in college. We would hang out honestly every single day and we would go out and do the craziest things or we would watch movies. So let me know, what do you personally do? And give me some ideas. Cause... Okay, this one is not feeling as hydrating, but it is still obviously feeling pretty good. Now that we have done that, Obviously the hair is not done because it's only done when it is all, because the final product is always once it is completely dry. So, give me a second. Oh, right, uh, I forgot, hold up. Okay, final reveal. It's still obviously a bit, a bit um, wet just because I love to plop it in that because it leaves the moisture in, but let me do Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. I really honestly feel like Blake Lively has done it. She has made the most amazing hair care line that is coming from a curly girly. But you could honestly even use this if you don't have curly hair. You can use the shampoos, the conditioner, or I guess she doesn't use conditioner, she uses masks. Oh my gosh, throwback to like 2020. Anyways, I personally love this side a lot more than this side. This side feels kind of crusty. Not even crusty, it's just crisp, obviously because of the gel. And it just feels a little bit more frizzy. All the, the locks aren't completely combined like on this side. This side feels so much more moisturized. So I'm sure when it completely dries, it's going to be even more luscious and beautiful. <gasps> Blake Lively, I'm sorry. I just have to say it, I'm going with Team, I really think that she is purposefully doing this for promotion to her hair brand. I don't understand how the celebrities do that. It really doesn't make sense. But any publicity is good publicity, I guess you can say. Because I mean, it kind of made her entire hair care line sell out within hours. So, that's just me. I don't know. I personally love that there are so many more celebrities. There are so many more people. 
and just people in general that are honestly embracing their natural hair, their natural looks, and this is honestly a sign for you to do the same. I think you are beautiful just the way you are. Find what makes you unique, because that's honestly the biggest thing, is we need to be unique. And my hair, being curly and being the way that it is, makes me unique, as much as it sometimes makes me wanna strangle it and it's so annoying, it makes me unique and I need to embrace it because you know what? That's what makes me special and beautiful and that's what makes you special and beautiful too, okay? I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Continue watching here because we are girls supporting girls and you know what? It's said it best right here. You freaking glow girl and I love you and I will see you in this next video. Send this emoji to the next video so that I know that you're coming from here.